power up. Off we go in autonomous. Here go the poofs, scoring one. Scoring two. Let's count them up, three. Can they get the fourth? One second left. Yeah, they get it to stick. So Red Alliance with an advantage. Blue was able to get their switch. Red Alliance able to get their switch. That's a ranking point on each side and autonomous. Red Alliance owning the scale as well. Another cube for Poofs in their possession. Up it goes. And try to place it down. Doesn't quite want to sit right. They'll go on the second story. 2974, Walton doing some work over here for the Blue Alliance. Grabbing cube after cube. d and up the Cheesy Poofs now. As they go up, Cheesy Poofs trying to place another cube, can't quite do it. In their switch, their alliance partner, 5496. That's the Robo Knights trying to help out as well. Walton fighting hard with 5496 over who's gonna get that cube. 5496 wins the battle. Now here comes Walton. Now gonna fight with the Poofs over a cube. Poofs just laying that gripper down. Can't quite get access to that cube though. 50 seconds left in this match. Hard D being played over on the red side of the field. Meanwhile, on the blue side, 1828. In that blue switch, trying to claim it back because Red Alliance has been doing work on that one as well. Siege going up every single time. With another cube now. Down on that blue switch. Red Alliance with a big advantage going into end game, 54-96. Lining up, taking a run at those forks. They get right up there. And now they climb. Here come the poofs. Got the forks under their partner. Slowly, carefully lifting them up. Got to get both sets of bumpers above the bricks. Hey, 359 doing the same on the blue side. A double-double here on the Hopper subdivision field. Your final score in favor of the Red Alliance. Everybody gets ranking points this match. Both alliances earning the auto quest. Both alliances facing the boss. Nicely done, team.